Hi Virgo, so this is your September 2020 reading. How do they feel about you? Hmm. Okay, so we have King of Swords, King of Wands in reverse, the Devil, Two of Pentacles, Page of Wands, Two of Wands. We have Majority Fire here, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, um, Sagittarius here with Jupiter, uh, Virgo, and then any of the air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We did have the moon at the bottom of the deck, so Cancer. But uh, this person has terrible energy towards you. They do not have good intentions. Uh, a low vibrational for one and quite negative as a person. I don't see this person adding anything positive to your life. Uh, I, If this is the energy that's been carried on from the previous months, um, I think it is because it was a similar character. It's a bit of a story um, that I'm getting that's continuing on. But this person, for one, okay, with the King of Wands in reverse, let's talk about him. Uh, he's a player, he or she quite controlling, paired with the devil, that's extreme anger, jealousy, obsessing about you, uh, wanting to control you, probably stalking you, um, but also we have juggling here with the two of pentacles. Uh, normally that can be someone uh, who has a lot on their plate, but in this situation uh, we have love triangle here. So getting caught in a love triangle causes heartache. Don't wait around for them to pick you. Get yourself out. Um, and then we'll talk about your advice later as well. But if we look at your these love cards, we have cynicism. So this lady is throwing a bucket of water on this couple down here. This, there's this clinging energy with holding on. It's coming from this person. And then we have revenge. <laughs> so you see the energy and all three of them are problem cards. We'll clarify with your mixed emotions, but this person has some sort of uh, mental issues and you need to... I don't like telling people what to do, but if this is resonating, this person is extremely negative. And with that King of Swords, I, I hate the King of Wands in a reading. Um, I love reading especially he's this energy is great for career um for anything but love I dislike this energy because I've dealt with it so I I know it really well and paired with the king of swords king of swords is terrible to have in a love reading um awesome again to have in finances or uh career um anything but love this person is emotionally detached cold can be verbally abusive as well but for for this in this case um this may be the exterior they're showing you with the king of swords because behind it is all this um passion control uh they feel for you we do have a jupiter here extremely selfish person as well um if we look at the uh, shadow aspects of Sagittarius um, that is me 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 energy fast lane something feels different about this love and you're not afraid to charge ahead hopefully this love will last flaky person their energy is all over the place uh, they cannot commit to one person or thing scattered energy but let's get also with a sixth house here you could work together but some sort of uh, finances here but also if we look at it, Virgo, square, Jupiter. This Jupiter is representing this person. You both are not on the same page. Virgo is what I'm seeing. But also there is, with Mercury, square, Jupiter, there could be problems um, in communication here as well. Um, but let's get more with your mixed emotions.
jealous, envious, suspicious, possessive, confused. Yeah, there's those mental issues. Hmm. And then if we look at the bottom of the deck here, we have moon, three of cups, five of pentacles, someone feeling left out, depressed because of a third party situation, a secret affair. It's saying this person is feeling guilty. Your interest in this person gives their ego a boost, but I don't see them putting in any effort uh, to keep this relationship going. Hence that King of Swords exterior, but there is passion here still. But this is a, bit, a lot of fire here coming from them. And then we have exhausted. So weary, fatigued, drained. Strong ego this person has. This person is not going anywhere if that is what you want. But I don't, I, I don't know why anyone would, would, one would want to deal with this type of energy. They still have hope in regards to um, saving your connection, Virgo. Um, I want to see, Virgo, how you'll feel about this person. You have fond memories of this person, but if they're juggling, it makes you, you feel worthless at times. If this is resonating, you don't feel good enough. Or you may, sometimes this can, it's that ten of wands energy where you're exhausted and you don't want to carry this load, this relationship up that hill. Um, we have depressed, empty, numb, withdrawn. Uh, if this is a resonating Virgo, I'd recommend not watching how do they feel about you readings. Just to clear yourself of this energy. It's, it will be difficult because... Uh, a uh, devil, uh, tackling the devil is not an easy task and this person does, um, is not going to let go anytime soon. It will have to be you. Um, but uh, I don't know what you'll do about this person's energy because it's they're clinging. Like I'm sensing that as you trying to walk out the door and it's like she's on the ground and dragging herself and he's dragging her. I don't know, but for your advice, we have a rest. Yes, that is eight of cups. Walk away, at least for September. The energy's heavy, and uh, you're sensitive at this time, so uh, you need healing. But it says, I take a step away from my stress, and then a deep breath, and then a crankiness killing nap. When I get the rest I need, I instantly become a better version of myself, able to navigate complex relationships in a single bound when i don't i'm not which means i shouldn't uh the rest is not important but it's telling you take rest and then we have number nine phoenix how's that for a happily ever after i'll read this for you but it's interesting number nine september but that number could hold some significance to you it can talk about endings as well with that phoenix so no matter how hopeless you may be feeling at this moment know this you can and will survive whatever trials you've been put through 
From the ashes of the past, you shall create a storybook ending filled with beauty and resilience. All future flames will cower when they hear the whisperings of your name. Yes, the situation is not the best, but it is. You will rise above all this BS. I don't know a better word. But. Yes, this person is quite a bit of a narcissistic vibe. I don't like saying that word too often, but I mean, they feel guilty, but how does that help you in any way? Um, it's not like they can take that damage that they've done uh, back, but you're learning from your experiences and you're growing as a person. But yes, Virgo, that is what I have for you. Um, hopefully this, I usually say hopefully this resonated, but I'm, I'm hoping that this doesn't resonate. It is a negative reading, but um, I do wish you the best. And especially if, you, if it does, um, you do relate. I hope you heal from this person. Um, yeah, just stay away maybe from readings about this person because it can when, when we're healing from someone watching these readings um, that pain can resurface i'm not saying run away from that pain but i don't feel that what you need to feel and try to let this person go and then time will heal um i've done it so i i know it's difficult but um it is possible, Virgo. Uh, take care of yourself. Bye.